growing up partially in Alaska and partially amongst other areas um, has been a, a boon for me and also been difficult. I got knocked in the head too many times, so I don't know. I probably lost a few brain cells as a result, but so it goes. Largely, I mean, I've never felt exactly isolated, but, um, you know, I'd say my general experience has been different. Readily identified as the guy from Alaska, and that's kind of a very easy conversation to um, hook people on, and, and you know, it, gets you a long way. You make a lot of friends that way. Um, and vice versa, you know, I, uh, now that I have East Coast education and, and all that going up there, you know, that's pretty, gets you a foothold in, in different areas. And, you know, amongst the uh, blue collar oil workers and kind of self-made survivalists that are, that are out there, um, it's unique. Muskox Development Corporation of which I am, or was the herd manager, farm manager, um, is a nonprofit which is dedicated largely to creating a northern form of sustainable agriculture. Um, and what that basically amounts to is, at the end of the day, we're not interested in muskox as much as we are in people. Um, if all of a sudden, you know, it was discovered that uh, grinding pebbles into dust was somehow gonna be a northern form of sustainable agriculture, that's the direction we'd be going in. Um, so in that, what we're attempting to do is domesticate musk oxen um, for their kivute, which is their underwool. Uh, it's the warmest natural fiber on the planet, one of the rarest fibers on the planet. Um, so basically what, what my job has been and is largely entails is ultimately domesticating these animals, which is a very, very long process. Um, Incidental to that is also collecting kivute along the way and, and a lot of other things kind of get incorporated into that, but that's the end result of, of what our nonprofit, our organization is all about. John Teal was an anthropologist was a visionary, you know, had a lot of um, pretty uh, interesting ideas that um, he actually tried to prax practically institute, and I'm kind of currently heading up one aspect of the, the um, remnants of, of his ideas, or the upshot of what's become of them in the last 50 years. And what he was trying to do, and kind of, um, it's something that you don't see a lot of, I mean, very few people have the theoretical wedded to the practical in the way that Teal did. I mean, you just think about the aspects of domestication in general, and it's a fascinating topic. Uh, you know, if, what, what does it mean to domesticate something? What is it when something's domesticated? You know, there are a few kind of key genetic traits and, and um, physiological things that you can kind of pin down as being domesticated, but at the end of the day, it's still very, very vague what that actually means, and it's something that hasn't been actually done to any large extent. The internet has definitely changed the trajectory of my life. I mean, I think in the sense that, I, you know, you, you can sit up in Alaska in a village that doesn't have plumbing that's not connected to the road system that's Bush Alaska, and you can get satellite TV and internet. 